I'm going to talk about something that doesn't seem to be discussed very much in our hobby that we share together. And it can be a very disconcerting thing to have happen if you're not aware of its existence. And I'm talking about mechanical chronographs. Now, I'm wearing one today. I've got the IWC Pilot Chronograph 41 with the caliber 69 within the watch. And it's a really beautiful uh, chronograph, an aviation piece. And I recently had a viewer email me. He bought the same watch that I have on right now. And he noticed something that kind of jarred him a little bit as he was using his watch, as he was timing something. He looked at the elapsed hours. And really, if you look at a multiple of 30, right, if it's 30 minutes or maybe the full hour mark, the, the hand theoretically should line up perfectly with your index hash marks, either the 30 minute or the one hour interval. But oftentimes you look at the hour counter and it's a little bit forward. It's a little bit off, maybe even up to, you know, 15 minutes or so. And when you see this, it's kind of cause for alarm. And it's easy to say, wow, I must have a defective movement. I spent thousands and thousands of dollars on this watch and it's not keeping proper time when it comes to the elapsed time, when it comes to the chronograph. And you have the thoughts that, you know, that come like, maybe I should return this. Maybe I should get a full service. Maybe I shouldn't have bought this. You know, I know a lot of watch enthusiasts, you can get concerned when you see something new like this that presents as an error or as a problem. But in our minds, we tend to think of things sequentially like, okay, my seconds hand, my chronograph seconds hand, it goes all the way around and then my minute counter goes. And then when that goes all the way around, I should have one hour perfectly. We think of everything in sequence, but in reality, these are mechanical marfles on our wrist that are artful and beautiful. And if you think about it, what we have here, we have time, we have a day of the week, we have date of the month, we have elapsed minutes, we have elapsed seconds, we have a subsidiary seconds, and we have elapsed hours. And it's all basically being done mechanically through uh, gears, through a spring, through ratios. I mean, it's, it's really quite marvelous, but at the same time, it's mechanical and there is room for variance because a movement doesn't run necessarily sequentially like we think it should in our minds. You know, if, if, we're, in, if we're in watches because we want something absolutely accurate to the very second, to the tenth of the second, well, then we really shouldn't be considering mechanical calibers. We should be looking at quartz pieces, high accuracy quartz pieces, atomic time sinking quartz pieces, uh, not necessarily a Lamania based chronograph or a Vaju based chronograph or a caliber 69, which is within my pilot chronograph 41. So let me explain what happens here. Uh, essentially with your hour counter, there's a break that's disengaged whenever you actuate the chronograph. And so your hour counter is running directly, basically from the main barrel. And it's not like it's connected, but it's not directly connected with your elapsed minutes. So often, again, when you go to gauge the time, your timing event with your chronograph, and you see a little bit of variance with your hour counter, your first thought is there's something wrong, but in reality, there's nothing wrong with the timing. And that can change. Like if you're at the 30 minute segment, oftentimes the hour hand is not gonna be exactly between indexes. It might be a little bit forward. But then when you get to the next hour, Maybe it looks perfect, but two hours later, it looks a little bit off. The uh, variance that is at play here with your elapsed hours, again, completely normal. The only thing that concerns me as a watch enthusiast with years and years of history, a lot of, uh, a lot of experience with various watches, is I want it to reset perfectly. That's the thing that I really care about when it comes to a chronograph, and also the general timekeeping. If I have a chronometer certified watch and it's running within the minus four to plus six seconds per day, I'm good with that. If it's running plus 12, you know, something's off, maybe it's magnetized, maybe it just needs a quick adjustment. Uh, so I care about the timekeeping within spec, within reason, and I care about things resetting to zero, and I'm not going to be alarmed if my chronograph is, is just visually a little bit off and 
That might be surprising to some of you, but I'd ask you, if you have, say, a Speedmaster or a Breitling, something with a Vajou base or a Lamania base, go through a timing event that has multiple hours and check it at the 30 minutes and at the hour, and you'll be surprised if you haven't noticed this before, that a little bit of variance in the hour counter is completely normal and uh, it is not cause for alarm. So I had my friend here, um, uh, one of my viewers named Alex, he emailed me, he bought the exact same watch as I have, and he sent me some pictures of one of you know his timing events and how there is some variance in that minute hand. And he contacted IWC and he says, quote, IWC have been very apologetic and understanding and will be offering me a replacement, but in all honesty, the whole thing has left me rather lacking in faith, if you will. Admittedly, I am considering a refund and getting a new Speedmaster Moonwatch instead. What are your thoughts? Thank you for your time, and I wish you all the best with your watch collecting hobby and broadcasting career. Uh, so a very nice email from Alex. And Alex, if you're watching this, I hope that I've been able to answer your question here, that a little bit of variance is fine because, again, your elapsed hours it's running directly off of the main barrel. It's not connected to your elapsed minutes. And so, yes, everything in the movement is indirectly connected, but it doesn't run sequentially like we may think it does in our minds. And so your, you know, your IWC, even being off 10, 15 minutes visually at times as you're timing something with your hour counter, that's not cause for alarm. If you get a replacement from IWC, it could be a little bit better. Um, but you know, it could be the same. And if you bought a moon watch, the same thing could happen with that. So just be aware it's normal. It's not cause for alarm and it's not cause for you to lose faith in a particular movement or a model or a brand. And I think the more that we talk about this and, and talk about how it's normal, it can happen on a Lamania based paddock Philippe, and it can happen on the new coaxial Speedmaster, and it can happen in the Caliber 69, which shares a lot of architecture with a Valju base. Heck, I even took some pictures of my uh, Big Eye Avigation Chrono from Longines, which carries a, a very beautiful modified Valju movement with a blued column wheel. That one is, is uh, quite a bit more off, I guess you could say, than this Caliber 69 in my rotation. So uh, I will leave you with one thing. I will leave you guys with one thing. If that sort of, I guess you could say misalignment bothers you, like if it's going to get under your skin, obviously you don't want to go about this hobby not liking your watch or being bothered by something that, that is in your eyes significant. Well, then I would just suggest don't buy a chronograph that has an hour counter. Go with a buy compacts layout where you just have subsidiary seconds and then you have elapsed minutes. Uh, because you're not going to run across that type of visual uh, problem, so to speak. Well, that's what I have to say about this. Again, it's a topic that not a lot of people talk about. You may have been unaware of how common it is with mechanical automatic calibers, but let me know your experience. And again, if you uh, if you have one of these watches, take the time and and time something and look at your hour counter and recognize that really is. It isn't a big deal. So thank you for watching. Reach out with any other questions. Have a great day. I'll see you guys next time.